What better way to start off the new year in 2023 than with my first solo, but kind of cushy, tent backpacking trip in the snow. I've never been to this exact area before, but I saw this weather window opening up between storms, and I'm really hoping the skies will clear up enough to see some of those mountain views that I hear are up here. While out snowshoeing, I wanted to do some reflecting on this past year in 2022. It was a big year for myself and my business, SpringFed Media. And this coming year, in 2023, will mark five years since I first founded the business and four years since I've been working with it as my full-time job. The last time I created a recap video like this was at the end of 2019, which marked my first year of operating my business full-time. It's kind of hard not to laugh now, but after re-watching how that video ended, there's so much hope and enthusiasm for what 2020 could bring. And I don't think any of us could have anticipated that curveball. Very thankfully, we weathered the ups and downs of the past few years, but it's been challenging to stay connected with everyone. My hope is this video will help check in and update you all with what myself and Springfed Media have been up to and what the future holds. Because let me tell you, a whole lot has happened since 2020 and in the past 12 months. Two thousand twenty two started off with one of the most exciting and challenging projects I've ever been involved with. I was hired by NHK, the public broadcasting company out of Japan, to travel to Fairbanks, Alaska to document a scientific rocket launch into the Aurora Borealis with the goal of studying the electrons being emitted into our atmosphere from the sun. Lots of factors made this challenging to capture, like the weather with single digit freezing temperatures needing to build and set up a remote camera housing to capture the rocket launch up close, and waiting for the exact right conditions of the Aurora to launch the rocket. With months of planning, all the factors aligned though, and we were able to capture the rocket launch along with some of the most incredible Aurora-filled night skies I could have ever imagined. On top of everything though, we got to witness the rare event of an Aurora Corona where the sky directly above us seemed to open up and rain down the most brilliant, bright colors imaginable. This was literally the most incredible thing I've ever experienced in my life. Being there and being able to capture all this footage with our extremely light-sensitive Sony cameras was such a humbling experience. <music> 2022 also brought the opportunity to tap back into my passion for running. For myself and my business being based in Eugene, Oregon, also known as Tracktown USA, I was really excited to start working with Sport Hill, the locally based running and outdoor clothing company. We went out early for sunrise on the ridges surrounding Eugene to create some photos and videos. And let me tell you, being above the fog for sunrise never disappoints. Located on the Southern Oregon coast, Wild Rivers Land Trust is an organization working to conserve wild spaces that people and wildlife depend on. In 2021, I worked with the organization to capture and share footage of a few conservation land easements they're helping to steward. In early 2022, we took some of that same footage to create a new video talking about the need to preserve the land and drinking water source that the town of Port Orford depends on. Two thousand twenty two was a hugely anticipated year, with the World Track and Field Championships being hosted in Eugene, Oregon. To kick things off, I worked with classical figurative sculptor Mike Lecky as he completed a larger than life bronze statue of the legendary runner Steve Prefontaine. It was a joy working with a fellow artist on a project that had been in the works for so long to help him tell this story. Once the World Championships did arrive, I was fortunate to attend a few sessions as a spectator, but also do some filming outside of the main event. While working with Hannah from KW Productions, we were able to capture the Riverfront Festival for the World Championships, hosted by the City of Eugene and Revere Event Experience. 
This free event space was a ton of fun to be a part of with great music and great food. But the highlight was being able to have dinner with the Ethiopian team the final night of the championships. All throughout the summer, prints and picture frames created from materials of the historic Hayward Field continued to sell. The historic picture frame keepsake project started in 2021, with the last of the frames in stock trickling down to the end of 2022. This was a really fun project to be a part of creating with my dad, Jeff Sherman, and the Oregon Track Club. As of now, over 1,000 picture frames were sold, with all the profits donated to funding future Alcomer meets, organized by the Oregon Track Club. Earlier in 2022, another sports event came to the area with the Pac-12 Rowing Championships. It was an awesome opportunity to join the broadcast team, heading up the drone operations and piloting while broadcasting the event. It was a fun challenge to take on, which required hiring an additional drone pilot and a few other crew members for us to fly nearly three hours of constant flight paths during the races. As spring turned to summer, Oregon was fortunate to have a lot of rain for the growing season. Since the 2020 Labor Day fires, I've been continuously working to document the regrowth after the fires, especially up the Mackenzie River. This included finally setting up my first successful long-term time-lapse rig, which has been taking photos every day since March 2022. It's been incredible to capture and share these resilient ecosystems as they rebound and regrow with each changing season. In parallel with our fire-adapted ecosystems, myself and many others worked to progress the conversation of moving our communities into a more fire-adapted future. To help jumpstart adapting to the increasing wildfires in recent decades, a newly finished documentary called Elemental was screened in many fire-impacted communities throughout the Pacific Northwest in 2022. This documentary tackles many tough questions like, how do we most effectively prepare our communities for future fires? And how can we adapt our relationships with this irremovable element of fire on our landscapes? I first got involved with the movie by having a few of my drone shots included in the final cut. In addition to helping with showings in Eugene and Lowell, I headed up organizing a movie premiere for the Mackenzie River community. This event was a success thanks to the many contributions from local community members and organizations. Over 130 people came out to watch the movie, talk about fire, and pick up materials and information from organizations to help rebuild from the fire and prepare for future fires. Helping to put on an event like this in my hometown, just two years after the Holiday Farm Fire, was challenging to say the least. This movie takes on some tough conversations, which have been met with some resistance, but the one thing I feel like everyone can take away from the movie is that there are tangible things each of us can be doing right now to prevent so much future community loss, like what happened during the 2020 Labor Day fires. For myself, and for the many people who did see the movie, it was an opportunity to come together to support each other moving forward and also take a hard look at where our trajectory is taking us and where we actually want to end up with our relationship to fire. To round out the year with fire, I was really fortunate to join a controlled burn in the hills above the Willamette Valley. This is one of the first times since working with the Forest Service doing wildland firefighting that I could get up close and personal with fire on the ground. The goal was to capture some breathtaking footage to show the cultural and ecological value fire can bring, but also use the footage in future projects, hopefully to better our relationship with fire. Throughout 2022, it was great working with some of our regular clients like grain millers. We created more in the lab videos, along with other promotional materials, and even got to produce our first stop motion video. Some of the final big projects of the year were spent working again with NHK Enterprises from Japan. This time, it brought me to Seattle, Washington to document the historical Panama Hotel and Tea House at the center of Japantown. This operating hotel and tea house has culture and history infused into the building and flowing throughout the neighborhood. It was an honor to capture these stories, both inspiring and dark, dating back to the Japanese internment camps during World War II and beyond to the early days of Seattle. 
for the final filming trip with NHK this year, we traveled to the Southwest Desert States, an Orcas Island in Washington, in search of dinosaurs. We interviewed leading experts in the field of paleontology and geology, and explored areas where evidence of this long ago era had been discovered. It was incredible for me to learn more about these ancient creatures, but also begin to grasp just how much we still don't know and have yet to discover. With so many work projects, it's always important for me to take some time off for traveling into the backcountry and other wild places for some R&R. &R. In July, we were able to make another difficult trip, climbing to the summit of Mount Adams and then glissading back down towards the trailhead. Also in Washington, we took a few days backpacking and traversing the Northern Cascade Mountains. With these and other trips, being able to spend time outside to get grounded and decompress can add so much quality back into the work and life that we strive for every day. I wanna thank you all for helping contribute to an amazing year in 2022. There's so many people and projects that weren't mentioned here, and those are the people I especially want to dedicate this video to. I just showcased most of the high points in the past year, but the highs combined with the lows and the challenges is what creates the magic. If you're a small business, creative individual, or whoever working to make the magic happen for yourself, keep it up and keep working on it every day. For myself, every year has been building on the last, which is extremely humbling and I'm really looking forward to what 2023 brings. To tease things a little bit, just this past week, I was fortunate to purchase a new Sony cinema camera and lens, adding some new tools to the toolbox. With this big addition, we're looking forward to stepping up our game even more to capture and tell the stories with everyone we get to work with. See you all in 2023.